Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create stylish 3D text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. It will be very simple and easy to create 3D text animation. And I hope you will get some valuable lesson with this video. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition quickly. Give it a name you like. Let's type a text for the animation. Adjust the text size and gap according to your need. Also align it to the center. Now enable the 3D option of the text layer. If you don't see the 3D option, you can click on this toggle switch button here. Now select the text layer, and press R to open rotation property. First change the X rotation to minus 60 degree. Then change the Z rotation to minus 30 degree. You can adjust the text by holding this arrow pointers. Now if we open the text layer, we can see the geometry option here, which is disabled currently. To enable this option, go to composition settings, then click on this 3D rendered, then change this classic 3D to cinema 4D. Now we have the geometry option available. Open that option, and change the extrusion depth value to 50. Now you can see the little depth on your text. We are going to use this extrusion depth to animation the text. Let's add some color on the text. Open the layer, click on this animate button. Go to front, color, then RGB. Now choose a color you like. Then click on this animate button again, and choose a color for sides. Let's pick a darker tone of that same color. Now select the text layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. And for the bottom layer, make it a guide layer. For the top layer, let's type H because we need to animate it each alphabet separately. Now on the first frame, add a keyframe on extrusion depth. Then press P to open position property, and add a keyframe on position also. Press U to see the applied keyframes. Then go forward to 1 second, and change the position like this. Also increase the extrusion value according to the height of the text. Then just adjust the position in that way, so it blends with the bottom part. Take some time to adjust it. Just like this. Then go forward to one more second. And copy these first two keyframes, and paste it here. So this will be the basic animation. If you put more time to adjust the position, then these corners will be more accurate. Now we just need to duplicate this layer. Change the text, and just need to fix the position. But make sure, when you are changing the position of the text, make sure you are selected the position property, and one keyframe at least. Just see, how I am doing. 
otherwise you may messed up with the position of the text. Let's do the same for all the alphabets. Now select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the graph curve something like this. There is some problem in one alpha bait. I think I missed to easy ease the extrusion depth of the L2 text layer. Let's fix that. Just easy ease the keyframes, and change the graph curve like before. Now it's fine. Select all the layers, and press U to see the applied keyframes. Then hold ALT plus click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type loop out duration. Copy the expression. And paste it on all the keyframes. You can keep this animation on loop by using this expression. Now it will keep animating till the end of the timeline. Let's add a solid layer for background. Apply fill effect to change the color. Choose a color you like. Now, just offset these text layers by 2 frames. And your animation is ready for use. You can create an L layer here. Then link all the layers to the null layer. Then you can move it the way you want. So basically using the same technique, you can create lots of cool 3D text animation. So this is all for today. I hope you get something new from it. See you guys in the next week, till then have fun, and stay safe.